You guys have seen series I love. Now let's talk about series that I may love. Thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel and making it the best it can be. Welcome back fantasy fans, it's Dan here, Retriever Book Reviews. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be talking about series that, you know, might make my uh, top 10 list eventually. So these are all or either series I haven't read or series I've like read the first book or first two books. And I'm like, yeah, these could, uh, these could creep up on the list here. So you guys saw I did like a top 16 series. I have a link and I'll put a link into the cards there for that video where, look, where I talk about my favorite series of all time as of 2022. So this video is kind of looking at series that I'm currently reading that may, uh, you know, may inch on that list because uh, some are pretty promising. So I've gone down and I've rated them from, uh, you know, like probably least likely to make it on the list and then to uh, make it on the list, <laughs> probably. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to start with series that I haven't read any of the books in that. And I've just, you know, been doing research, listening to reviews, seeing what other reviewers think. And I've kind of ordered them in terms of my personal taste and what I would like. And so the, the first series I'm going to talk about, I think I got about like 15 or 12 series here. So the first one is the Lycanius Trilogy by James Islington. It's the shadow, this is the book is The Shadow of What Was Lost. I love the titles for all these books. I only, I actually own the first and the third book. I don't, I haven't found the second one. Yet. I got this thrifting and it's in beautiful condition. So yeah, the Lycanius Trilogy it sounds like a really good, um, you know, just fantasy adventure, pretty character driven from what I've heard. Sounds like it's something I'll like, you know, it's a trilogy, like a lot of fantasies like to be, it's fairly thick. And this is something I can see myself picking up, maybe not this year, I don't have it planned on my TBR, but in the near future, and I think it's a series I'm going to like. So yeah, that is Lycanius. So the next series is by Tad Williams, uh, it's like A Memory of Sorrow and Thorn, I believe. Uh, yeah, book one, A Memory of Sorrow and Thorn. So it's, uh, first book is Dragonbone Chair, second book is Stone of Farewell, and the third big book is the uh, Two Green Angel Tower. I believe that's typically broken into one and two parts, but I've got the big copy, which is just, it's huge, <laughs> it's huge. You could, you could crush a cat with it, it's like, it's that big. So yeah, Dragon Moan Chair. I saw Mike recently started reading this or has finished it now on his channel at Mike's Book Reviews. He's one of my favorite booktubers. I uh, watch his content all the time. And um, yeah, it just sounds like a series that I'll like. Um, you know, I haven't read anything by Tad Williams. This would be the first Tad Williams I read. So I'm really interested in picking it up. It's a big, well-known series. And probably one as a you know, serious fantasy reader I need to get under my belt. So... Yeah, that is Memory of Sorrow and Thorn by Tad Williams. This one's actually going to be a little bit lower, even though I've read one book and part of the second. And that is The Dark Tower by Stephen King. Uh, as you can see, I still have my bookmark in here where I put this down. Um, I really... I was just in the wrong headspace, I think, when I read this book. And I was just paired with a bunch of bad books. So I, I haven't de I DNF'd it, but to put on hold, not to eventually finish. So I think The Dark Tower for me... If I can get through Drawing of Three, we'll decide if I continue or pick up the series. I'm just a little hesitant about it now if I want to continue. And I think, you know, <laughs> getting that book under my belt will help me uh, make that decision. I do like the gunslinger, or I do like the character of the gunslinger. The gunslinger of the book itself was a little bit, it was okay. Which people, everyone has kind of said it's, it's not great. So I did enjoy parts of it and I can see myself enjoying it more once I, you know, kind of get stuck into it. So yeah, that is The Dark Tower. All right, so another series I have not read, but want to read. And I'm actually gonna be reading, I have this of uh, this author's, one of his books, not in this series, this is his new book coming out, planned on my TBR. So if I like that, and I like his writing, I'm probably gonna come back and read that. Maybe not this year, maybe, I don't know. And that is uh, Powder Mage by Brian McClellan. This just sounds like something I'm gonna like, you know, with the, uh, it's like flintlock fantasy, which I'm, I will say, I don't like guns. Guns are just, they turn me off big time. And that's maybe why I studied ancient history. Cause I just, like world war history is, is, is interesting. It's fascinating, but just guns bore me. 
And I'm like, yeah, I, you, guns are, like, guns are, make warfare boring, I find, and less interesting. And, um, so, this is maybe why it's a little bit lower, is, I'm sure I'll love it. My wife has read this, and she really likes it. And he's also a student of Brandon Sanderson, so I, you know, I'm a fan of the Brando Sando. So this, I think, Powder Mage will start breaking onto some of my favorite series, if I like it. Two more series left to go. Uh, this one, my wife... <laughs> Again, this is another one. My, my wife is a big fantasy reader. She does read a lot of romance, but this is one she's read and she's, you know, told me about that. You need to read this. You're going to absolutely love it. And that is Right Area by Michael J. Sullivan. Um, I've got the first two omnibuses. So this is, it's two books in one. Most people know that, but uh, so Theft of Swords. And uh, yeah, I'm, you know, this, I heard this is a, you know, like just a, like a buddy cop, not buddy cop, but like just a great friendship. I think it's Hadrian and Royce are the main characters. And uh, I just know I'm going to love it. And based on what my wife told me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like something I'm going to like. So I don't really know too much about the story and the plot, but I just know that it's like a really good like friendship tale. And that it's just something I'm totally down for. And Hadrian, Hadrian's like an amazing name, like one of my favorite characters in sci-fi fantasy. is Hadrian Marlowe from Sun Eater. So I already know I'm going to like the naming conventions for some of the characters. So... That is The Right Area by Michael J. Sullivan. Okay, and so this next book is the last book in a series I have read, or I haven't read. So this is the last unreads that I think could top and get onto my list. And that is uh, The Book of the Ancestor by Mark Lawrence. This is a highly rated series. It sounds like something I like. I think it's like Assassin Nuns, which sounds amazing. So I'm all for that. Um, the cover's not super great, but the other covers are a bit better, so, but, um, yeah, Mark, I, I, this sounds cool, and I cannot wait, I think I have it planned this year, I'll have to check my list, I have a long, I have, my spreadsheet's getting longer, and I've marked all over, and it looks ridiculous, but I, this one, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna like, I like Mark Lawrence, I have read some of his books in the past, and maybe one of those books are gonna be on here, so, yeah, the Book of the Ancestor is another one I could see myself uh, really getting into and enjoying. Moving along, uh, we're getting, I think we got about six series left that uh, could creep into my favorite series of all time in the future once I get a little bit more well-read in them. And that one is The Witcher, um, so by Andrzej Sapkowski. I have read uh, Blood of Elves. I really enjoyed Blood of Elves, actually. I realize I should have read Last Wish, and I did plan to put Last Wish on my TBR, but I don't do well with picking up books piecemeal. I like to read books. As soon as I pick it up, I commit to reading it, and I don't, um, you know, just, I don't like to have more than one physical book read on the go. I can't typically do that. Um, I don't know, just, I just can't. <laughs> so, uh, this series, I, I've really enjoyed the characters in The Witcher. I liked Geralt. I like Ciri. Um, I like, uh, I think her name, what is her name? Gwen, not Gwen, um, Yennefer, that's it. I did like Yennefer. Um, I just think, you know, reading more will maybe cement this into some of my favorite series, uh, some of my favorite series of all time. As I mentioned, there was another Mark Lawrence series on here, and that is The Broken Empire by Mark Lawrence. I have read this book, The Prince of Thorns. It's been a while since I read it. I think it's been at least, I think I read it as soon as it, when it came out, because I'm like, oh, this character sounds amazing. He's like... He's, I mean, he's, he's a baddie. Like, he's, he's a total anti-hero, like, yeah, he's not even, he's not, not even a nice guy. He's a bad guy. But he's interesting, and that's what kind of counts. So, I can see my, I can't wait to pick up more in this series. Uh, I can see it becoming a favorite, just because I like, not evil characters, that's a weird way to put it. I like, I feel that characters who have, um, who are typically portrayed as, like, antagonists, have a typically more interesting background than like the, the you know the hero the protagonist you know they have a shady or darker past um they've had to fight for what they get and uh they make you know decisions that good villains shouldn't hum and hobo they just here you go like uh, that's the one thing i hated about like james bond I, i'm going on a tangent but it's you know where it's like um with james bond where it's like oh i've caught you now mr bond and uh, it's like i don't know where that accent came from anyways but like instead of just killing like the the hero they i'll just monologue to you and then 
just let you give you an opportunity to escape. Like, no, kill him. Like, shoot him in the head. Like, you won. You bad guy, you won. And that's kind of why I like this, the character and the main character. I forget his name now. It's been a while. I should probably look it up. But, um, you know, he's, he's a bad dude. And he makes split decisions that bad guys would make. And which just makes sense if you were a bad guy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, maybe I'm giving away too much of myself here. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be either a good or a bad villain. I don't know. Ooh, it's weird to think about. Anyway, so that is uh, Broken Empire by Mark Lawrence. All right, moving along. I think we only got like four more series here. So the next one is The Band by Nicholas Ames. I've only read this book, uh, Kings of the Wild. I have Bloody Rose. I got it as, uh, in a book haul a while ago from my brother. My brother bought it for me, which is very generous because I want to bet. Uh, I really love this book. It was so much fun. And uh, I think this is a series that, you know, if, if Bloody Rose is just as good as this book, it's going to definitely skyrocket to the top of my list. I know uh, we're supposed to expect the third book this year. I don't really know what it's kind of called. I think it's called like, I think it's called the Broken Empire or no, I don't, I'm not really sure what it's called. Actually, it's there's a there's a tentative title. I don't see it being released this year. We haven't really had, I haven't seen much traction or news from Nicholas Ames on it. So, but the band uh, is a really cool series and I'm looking forward to reading the third entry. These are the last three, top three. So the number three pick in the series, I think that could really break into the list the more I read is Dune. So I've only read Dune. Um, I'm, I'm only talking about the six books. So Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, uh, God Emperor, Chapter House Heretics. So uh, I really love Dune. Dune is one of my favorite books of all time. I recently reread it for the first reread it for the first time in like 10 years or 12 years uh, last year. And oh, I loved it. I absolutely adored that. And it was like such a like, it was almost like a fresh read because I, I just forgot so much. Like I just knew like House of Trades, Harkonnen, uh, there was a fat guy in it. And uh, it was a bit gross. And uh, Paul, that was all I really remembered and Sandworms. And this was such a fantastic book. I cannot wait to read more. And the thing is, I actually don't own Dune Messiah or Heretics of Dune. I found every other book, but uh, so I'm really kind of looking forward, looking forward to reading more of Dune. And I can see it easily if the other if the other entries are just as good as Dune to uh, to make my list as one of my favorite series of all time. Number two, a series I a book, the first book I just read recently. I absolutely uh, adore, or not adored it. I really liked it. And I, I see the potential, and I can see why people love this series. And that is the Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Uh, Stormfront was a great book. It was just a really quip, like popcorn fantasy book where this interesting character, Harry Dresden, who really supports the, the the storytelling of this book on his shoulders. This character is able to carry it. He's funny. He's witty. He's interesting. He's got cool magic. There's cool creatures. And this series, I can see just doing like things, everything I love. I know it's one of the series that everyone said the first few books are a little bit of a chore, but then it just takes off and it'll become one of your favorite series of all time. And I do not doubt it. And that's why, um, you know, the Dresden Files is number two. Hey guys, it's uh, Editing Dan here. You don't see me that often, but uh, there is a series I missed that meant to be on this list. And it's actually a series that should be really high. And I don't know how I forgot it, but... Um, it is actually the Farseer trilogy by uh, Robin Hobb. I'll hold it up. I'm currently about eighty, almost eighty percent done. The uh, Royal Assassin. I'm absolutely loving it. It's, it's it's been such a pleasure to read. It's completely different from Assassin's Apprentice, and has so far really changed my opinion on the series. So uh, this should be on here. It's going to be high. So I'll say Farseer, Realm, of the Elderlings. Uh, we'll get back to the video here in a second, but. Uh, I can't believe I missed it, but anyways, guys, that is it. Um, so we'll uh, we'll I'll let you continue. Goodbye. All right. So number one, this might be no surprise to anyone, or um, you know, you're probably just waiting for it to crop up on this list, and that is um, Malazan or Malazan. I I like to say Malazan. Um, maybe I'm just putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable, but I really I really enjoyed Gardens of the Moon. I it's the first book I read this year in 2022. It was such an engaging read. Yes, it's heavy, uh, but I didn't feel lost at any point. I, I loved all the characters. I cannot wait to get back into this this year. I have some books planned. Um, 
this was so much fun. So much fun. Super cool characters. Super cool world. I just, I just want more. And it's a shame I just haven't put it sooner because I've just, you know, my TBR, I'm kind of one of those readers who likes to set my TBR and not set it and forget it, but like set it and like lightly amend it. And I've just, I don't know why I've kept pushing Malazan back, but I, because I enjoyed it so much, but Malazan or Malazan, I could see it just skyrocketing to the top, at least being in the top five, uh, based on even just reading the first book. So it was so much fun, so much fun. So anyways, guys, that was my list of books that could break my, uh, you know, break into my favorite series of all time. You know, maybe comment down below and let me know what are your favorite series or what are series you haven't read that you're really looking forward to reading. Um, this is a fun list to do. I kind of sat down. I've actually crossed a few off this list now because an example is I read Book of the New Sun and I ended up DNFing the first book in there, Shadow of the Torture. I just didn't like it. So, you know, this list um, is going to be ever-changing because uh, there's, you know, series that are going to be coming out all the time. So that is my list, guys. I, uh, you know, thank you guys for subscribing and being a part of the channel. If you know, if you do like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are interested in becoming a patron, I do have a patron on. There are different tiers on there available. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.